when working with uh, 3D projects, particularly those that have pieces that need to fit together, often those pieces have what's called a friction fit. They aren't designed to slide easily in and out, so you need to tap them together or use a vise or something. Some of the projects I create require a gentle little tap uh, with a hammer to get them to uh, fit flush. And uh, in the past, I've been using uh, this or some variant of that. I think I have another one here. This is a carpet tack. It has a, the advantage of having a built-in uh, tuning fork, uh, carpet tack. And then uh, I guess that's sort of like a geologist's hammer. I'm not too sure of the distinction. But these, uh, with their metal hats, uh, with their metal heads, have a lot of weight. Uh, so in order to provide a gentler uh, nudge, uh, I created a 3D printed hammer. And uh, while printed in uh, plastic is not going to give you the weight, if you fill it with uh, BBs, you can hear a few of them still rattling around in there, it gives you uh, enough weight uh, so that you can pound things home true without uh, creating uh, a great deal of problems. So in today's video, we're going to be doing the video of 3D printing yourself a hammer. Printable Science presents a 3D printed hammer. In addition to the printed parts for this project, you're going to need some BBs to give uh, some mass to the hammer and uh, the face of the hammer also needs some glue in order to stick it onto the uh, hammer head casing as well. We also use a little bit of glue to stick the top layer of BBs in to keep things from bouncing around too much. The printed parts for this project consist of the hammer handle and uh, the head itself, as well as the uh, head or face for the hammer, and uh, a uh, nut to uh, affix the head to the handle, and uh, a little spanner to allow you to tighten the bolt onto, or I should say the nut onto the hammer head, uh, or the hammer handle bolt. Now, there's also two approaches to constructing this project if you want. The first is to use a TPU for the face of the hammer. That gives a somewhat uh, uh, softer surface so that when you're pounding things, you're not going to mar or disfigure what you're hitting. And uh, you can either make the face of the hammer with the TPU or just make a slip-on uh, top that uh, fits over top of the hammer and use a regular TPU for the face, the hammer head face. For the most part, this project was printed in PLA with uh, two perimeters, uh, three bottom layers, uh, three top layers, whatever works, 20% infill, it's not really all that important. You might want to give some consideration to making the handle with uh, more than 20% infill, uh, particularly near the threaded portion at the top. But I've found that 20-30% uh, infill works fine. And indeed, if you vary the infill towards the top, actually, you have real problems keeping the handle itself stuck to the build plate. So, as I say, just go with a, probably a, a standard infill uh, for the entire height of the hammer. You can see that we use two colors uh, for this project, a uh, sort of light brown or almost skin color for the handle and uh, silver for the hammer head and the hammer face. Unless, of course, you go for the TPU. We had to have some red lying around, so we use that for the hammer face when it's printed in TPU and uh, for the slip-on cover if you decide to go that way. Before you start tipping in the BBs, you need to attach the handle to the hammer head. And that's pretty straightforward. You just take the handle and insert it in the uh, hammer head. Uh, you line up the guides on the top of the handle with the guides uh, in the base of the hammer head. Push it on and then take a nut and tighten it on a little bit and then use the spanner to engage the holes in the top of the 
nut and then screw it on down till it's nice and tight. You need to do that first because there are holes on the uh, inside of the hammer that the BBs would fall out of if you just poured them in before having attached the hammer head to the handle. Now you just take the BBs and start pouring them into the top. I don't have a lot of experience with BBs and perhaps there is a more efficient way of tipping them out but the main thing is to ensure uh, that they go through the holes on either side at the midway point of the hammer into the tapered end and uh, that you get the whole thing full. Keep on filling it up and then you pour a few into the face of the hammer depending on whether you use, decide to use the PLA or the TPU face up to you. Then we take a little bit of glue, mix it up, spread it over the BBs in the head of the hammer and uh, goop some down into the top where the BBs are rest resting in the hammer head. You want to have ensured that there is enough clearance for the hammer head to fit in with the BBs that you've loaded into the hammer head. So if you've got the time, and it's probably a good suggestion, glue the BBs into the hammer head and let it harden. That way they won't fall out of the head when you're trying to affix it to the hammer head. Then you can check and make sure that you haven't got too many BBs in the uh, hammer head when you stick the face on the top. So glue up uh, the BBs in the head and slip uh, the head in place. And if there's uh, some uh, glue still around from when uh, you uh, slopped it into the bottom of the or the top there of the hammerhead, that'll uh, make the hammerhead stay glued in as well. And that's about it. Of course, if you decide to go with the PLA hammer face, then all you need to do for the slip-on version is slip the TPU cover on, and there you have that variation all done. So there you have it, your own 3D printed hammer. No, 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 no. Two different 3D printed hammers for safely pounding your delicate parts. With a hammer like this, you learn the exaltation of your friends, the bamboozlement of those who would seek to do you harm, and probably earn about 20 virtue points for your divine admission. Check the video description below for the link to download the STL files you'll need for this project. And thanks again for watching. Hope you find practical use and application for the hammer. As always, we invite you to visit our website at printablescience.com or all the science that fits. We print. Thank you.